everybody. Welcome back, Space Engineers. We've got it. We've got it, and it's called... I, um, destroyed the antenna, didn't I? Did I? Did I? What is this thing called, everybody? Large ship. Very good, then. It is a large ship. 6263. But yes, I brought this here because I want to murder it and eat it. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I said, I want to murder you, not the other way around, you jerk. Okay, so there is an interior turret in there that I've just remembered about. Um, the blast doors are gone. That used to protect us. Those, um, I think I deleted. And I did restore this ship because I accidentally deleted it as well. So I restored the ship. Oh, there it is. Oh, and we're dead. What a world. I don't want to respawn at Skipper. Skimmer. The Skipper. Skimmer Skipper. Oh, yeah. Do I have a gun? What do I have to take you out? I mean, we could just... We have a gunship. Where's a gunship? Chip? We need you. There's a tiny little interior turret. Now... Switch to weapon. Good. Works! I had disabled weapons for a while there. I think there was a bug with them, so I just disabled them, just to be sure. Let's go in there and take that out. Now, we could snipe it out, which is probably the um, proper way of doing it, or the smart way of doing it. But, who wants to do things the smart way? Okay. We can fix Chip. Chip, are you capable of flying through here? Oh, it has one blast door. Maybe? Is that a blast door? <laughs> Just got to point with bullets, okay? Oh, we're upside down. You can see from the door. Fascinating. All right, well, we'll leave Chip out here in case we have to destroy anything else. Let's go inside and just do some recon. There's probably another one. Pretty sure there was another one that was targeting us from somewhere. Um, I really don't want to grind through that, though. Or that. Yeah. Too slow. Could grind through the walls. Alright, well, let's just leave it. We'll deal with it as we um, run into issues. So when Shredder gets basically shot up to death, that's when I guess we'll deal with it. That's probably not a good plan. But that's the one I'm going with. Okay, so what we want to do as well is convert this to a station. So I think we'll just throw a block right in front. And we'll convert it. We'll just fly it forward a bit. So he's almost lined up anyway by the looks of it. That's pretty good. So if we do give ourselves some room... Well, Chip might not be able to get through, but Tortwing. You can definitely fit through a door, right? Oh, well, you can reach the door. It's all that matters. And everything around the door. I think there's something in there. It doesn't seem to like Tortwing. Hello? Hello? Oh, the gravity generator's on. That's probably killing some fuel. Alright, so there is a turret in there by the looks of it. We might need to find a way to get Chip in there. Or we could try to shoot Chip through... Shoot the turret through this gap that we just created. Let's do that. And also... Stop looking at my belly. Let's go weld this thing up. So it needs one of its um, existing connectors. I found that using a connector while trying to merge seems to work a lot better than just trying to merge, because the merge just kind of slingshots it around. If you watch the end of um, the previous episode, uh, I just want to grind that down to hopefully gain ownership. At the end of the last episode, I threw on a little clip of me trying to <laughs> um, catch the Xenocrane's head just with a merge block, and it was just bouncing back and forth, back and forth. But with the connector, it, it worked right away. So I think that is how I shall do it from now on. 
I found that with the big stuff, if you do like multiple points as well, that can help. Because then it can rotate and everything. What? What are you out of? Computers, you say? Two shreds, you say? Okay. Um, anything close by that has computers? That we could just leech? I guess there's another... How many computers do you have? 20? Do I, did, I, did I need a full 20? Uh, no, I need like three. Perfect. I don't have to go anywhere. Oh, wait, no. That's the one I want. Let's grind the other one. Yes. Give me computers and light. And I'll assume they're gone now. I think they're one of the first items to come out. There we go. Um, the dilemma is this has no power. I didn't think about that. <laughs> So the connector's not going to do anything. All right, well, <laughs> in this case, let's hope we don't need it. All right, um, chip. Where's chip? Oh, we're on the other side. Because I flipped upside down, my reference got all messed up. There we go. No frames. So as you can see, I got the gravity field up. That is because, and a whole bunch of spam, that's because I was working on the gravity field. I guess we could go ahead and turn that off. And this is one of the groups that disappeared gravity shaft, so I have to recreate it. But let's just go ahead and turn that off. Alright, let's see if we can go shoot some more. Uh, let's turn our left gun on. That might be easier, I think. Oh no, wait, depends which way we're looking. Okay, no, we want our right gun. And we could even spy. I spy with my little eye the turret. I could find it with my body pretty quick, I imagine. I'm looking for the little green laser. Where is it? I thought I s Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Abort! It's right. Let's go back to zoom. Oops. It's right. Where did I see it? I saw it when I went in the door. Oh, it's down there. This is in my way. This is in my way. There he is. I see you. Gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Good. It would be fun to make a little drone that could actually like fit in here. And fly around. I have a feeling there's another one, right? Don't kill me. See, I wish there was, if there was a more of a, like, a risk to death there, like if I just lost a significant amount of resources or something with each of those deaths, then I might have cared. But as it is, I don't. I don't care. Good. All right. Success. All right, let's go back to the cockpit, which I think is up here. Oh, psh, psh, door. Psh, psh. I don't think so. What do I look like? Guy uses doors? I don't think so. All right, let's also get Chip out of here. Probably a good idea. Um, also a good idea to turn towards the exit. That is beneficial in getting out. Okay, got Chip out. Woo-wee. Wow, I didn't turn off the um, show on HUD. I turned off the gravity. I actually want you on. I just don't want you spamming the HUD. Thank you. Okay, so we have to go down a bit. Go down, turn right, spin. Spin the other way. Good, good. Go forward, which way is forward? Good. No, don't smash. No smashy. You can do it. Perfect. I think it's because, maybe it's easier with this going like from a ship to a station when you're working with two ships that can kind of pull and torque on each other then it could change what I should do is go get that gravity and shut it down I could have looked in here too to see if there's any other interior turret that was active but it looks like we have two down and that's the only ones so we're good oops all right so we are now a station it's gonna have a door on it I did see the gravity generator right when we were inside 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Didn't there used to be a way to squeeze in there? They improved the quality of their doors. Looks like they've improved the qualities of the door. Okay. Fair enough. Now that's still a ship, mind you. That is still a ship. There it is. Ah! I could have just left it disassembled, really. But anyway, now it's off. No more gravity. But I, I, um, I want gravity. Okay, point one, no gravity. Okay, so we'll have to extend the gravity field by the looks of it so that it encompasses the whole ship. I thought it was already low enough, but apparently not. So that one we just need to offset the spherical one. And I played around with all the other gravities just to make sure that I think they're okay. And they're pretty weak overall, which is good. I'll uh, just put it down there, I guess. Sure. So yeah, this guy's at point one. And if we look at my gravity, bottom right-hand side of the screen, you can see point one, point one. Well, just one point one. No need to for repetition. So if we follow the arrow, that's what the part should do. So they should come in here. Oh, here's a bit of a... Oh, these are the side... There's gravities that push inwards for the very top. They're not actually needed down here, but because I shortened this a bunch, um, they end up coming down here, and I don't think they'll harm anything. They might just send stuff into the center a bit quicker. And that's point 0.3, point 0.2, point 0.1, and I think it's point 0.1 all the way up. Nope, point 0.2, point 0. Oh, there's a problem. It might be okay, as long as they still have their momentum. They should go. I think it's because of I extended maybe the uh, spherical gravity. So now I need to compensate for it because that spherical gravity probably didn't go up that high. So let's make that negative 0 0.15 and then we should get a little bit up. Yeah, now we got an arrow going up. We It's just not registering. Okay, good. Next up, turn you off. Gravity. All right, so we're going to take Shredder. Where are you, Shredder? Actually, you should be roughly in, in place here. Okay, so let's take Shredder. I haven't actually, you know, messed with Shredder in a while. I did play around with... Some other designs. I just couldn't get anything that really worked well that I liked. That wasn't just massive. So I think we probably will just go for a bigger guy. Maybe even bigger than this. Maybe like molar size. And we might just do that. So it'll be bigger, but it'll get the job done probably better. So let's just go remote, I think. So I'm not sure what I have to do to turn this one on. I know four of the sensors are off right now which we can see the red ones and that's okay I think I purposely turned those off um, and it was just operating off the ones and then it's got these let's turn its sensors on actually show on HUD so I don't remember what they really look like okay so I made one field big so that it would try to default to that side so I'm hoping it'll keep kind of like um, kind of like Molar does, keeps himself on the surface, and Skimmer keeps himself on the surface. Kind of the same idea. I don't know how well I did it, though. So if I just fly forward... Now the trick is that big one's going to touch our station. Which isn't good. No touchy. And what did we set the sensors for? Did we make them, like, detect enemy? Okay. We might keep that off, and I'll just monitor it very carefully. So once I get close enough, will it turn on? Did I um, disable anything else? Detect stations. We'll detect large ships as well. And what do you do? You turn on a thruster, you turn off a thruster. Okay. I think I have to do the opposite. <gasps> There it goes. Okay, whoops. Okay. Now worky? You? Some? Perhaps?
I mean, the grinder should come on, I think. Or do I turn those on manually? Okay, it's not flying anywhere. Oh, wait. I hear clicking. Okay, it's moving on its own. So let's turn that on. Go, Shredder, go. Yeah, poop into the station. It's beautiful. Okay, let's turn off those sensors for now because it makes things look less cool. Beautiful. Now we work on getting a thumbnail. Oh, you know what's bad, though? I don't think I have the item count on very high, so let's save and I'll reload with a higher item count. Okay. Should be good. Oh, they look like they're despawning. Let's make sure. They might just be out of render range, so they look like they're disappearing. Yeah. Oh, they're really smashing into that thing. I should turn everything down even more. So it's just like a tiny little bit of force. And are there places where stuff's getting stuck? There is. I could almost get rid of this gravity gen. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here's your problem. It's flat. Did I change this out for 2 by one No. These are still 45. So I could swap that out for a better slope that would get stuff stuck less often, perhaps? Okay, so um, we had a little accident there. I also muted my mic by accident, and I forgot to unmute it. So I recorded a bit without any voice, but I showed a bit of the footage there that we were looking at. So we're at the little centerpiece here, with the collector array. And it seemed... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I don't need another timer block. We don't want you there. Can I hold you? I can. What are you, interior wall? I don't even know why you are interior wall. Are you even visible? I guess a little bit. Oh yeah, behind the tube. So I don't think that needs to be an interior block though. That could probably just be like a regular block. You need steel. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, let's do that. So I was thinking of maybe just welding up a little bit of the exterior here too while I got the projector loaded. Now I'm not sure if I'll reach in as far as I need to. Or if I'm going to run out of material either, though. So I should probably be a little careful with how I do this. Try to make sure I get from the inside out. But otherwise, I'm going to turn off that projector. And we're going to... Is it down a block? Or do I just have... Oh, no, there's just more decoration. That's not on all the sides yet. I see. Okay. So under here, though, you can see um, what happened. I'm not, I don't think the gravity was quite right, and there was a dead spot up here, so items weren't getting high enough. But they're also getting stuck along here, and they're trying to move up, but the slope is pretty crappy. So I'm going to use Tortwing and grind out the old walls, and I'll put in some new ones. Oh, it looks like there's a window out there that I could probably reach through the glass. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, I can get you. Good. I gotta stop saying good. At least like that. Good. Good. Stop it. Okay, I've got some of it uh, removed. Oops. How can I hit the wrong button every time? 
How can you be wrong every time? Okay, so these in here, like it seems to just be a hollow tube. This is not beneficial. None of these interior blocks are getting seen. Oh, this is where maybe the reactors go, though. Maybe. Okay, let's not get sidetracked. I already got sidetracked. I lost my way. I have to go all the way around. All right, so I'm going to try using um, armor blocks or two by one slopes. So this was a uh, 45 before, so we're just going to upgrade it. Yoink. And then see how the rest of it fits together. So I think we use this guy. If I can rotate him prop. Oh, I have. I only have some of the rotate keys near me. <laughs> so often I um, goof quite horribly. Okay, let's place them all while we can, and that side's still being worked on. Let's just see what we can do on this side before we grind too much of it away. So like that, like that. That creates a good slope, I think, or a better slope than we had. And hopefully they don't get stuck in the corner again. And then, uh, boonk. I'm gonna go through the gravity and make sure everything's good. Um, what I could do, to be honest, if I really wanted to, we could put armor here and just have it kind of siphon up and past. Why don't we try that? I mean, I don't need this corner exposed. Once it comes up past this lip, it should go into that corner, I think. Now, the only catch is these are the gravity gens that are pulling towards the collector. So because they're not centered directly behind the collector, it means their gravity field has to go down just as much as it goes up. Um, I wish we kind of had, like, sensor control over the gravity field so we could, like, pick which direction it goes out in, but... No, uh, we don't. <laughs> so we can't. Okay, now we can hopefully do double duty and weld and grind at the same time. Maybe. Weld and grind at the same time? Yeah? Yeah. Still deeply and try not to throw up. Okay, no, that's awful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's not do that. Let's pretend we never did. <gasps> no smashy. Okay, so everything should be fixed, except for the gravity. So let's take a look at that. Let's turn off the lights for some extra frame. Okay, and all the parts should. Um, I reversed the spherical grav gen so that it would pull most things down to it. It did. In fact, it allowed some things to go inside of it. Actually, let's not weld that and see if they'll <laughs> maybe make their way back out. Otherwise, I can take the glass off. Not a big deal. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn everything on. I guess. Right? Sure. Don't kill me. So what I want to do, I think, is turn... I think a lot of that's going so fast it's going to damage stuff too. Okay, so what's going on? Everything... Oh, and I didn't put all the armor in yet. Okay, so right now actually I have a couple gravities reversed. Um, it's the barrier ones, I believe. Um, negative one. No, okay. I meant to change the barriers earlier and I actually changed the collectors by mistake when I was trying to sort things out when everything was broken. So I had swapped this from negative to positive. That's why everything's gathering in the middle <laughs> instead of smashing me in the face. So that looks okay. It's just a couple guys stuck right in the center there. Eh. There we go. Okay, so how are we doing? So right here, there's no upward gravity. So that's a problem. So I think I have to get this guy a bit higher. So let's take a look at the upper shaft. That sounds so wrong. And so right. Okay, he's show on HUD. We just have to re-engage that. And actually, let's turn everything else off then. Okay, turn you back on. And see exactly where your limit is. Is he not going up high enough, or is he just too weak to overcome stuff? Okay, he's going right up in there. Okay. So let's bump him up until we notice a benefit. So he's pretty low. And so let's give him an extra... Actually, let's leave him as is. And what we're going to do is turn everything else down. So that was the upper shaft. We have displacement. 
Let's bring him down by 0.5. Lower shaft. We'll just decrease everything by 0 0.05. See if that makes a difference. That one is still that. Let's go... I guess it's going to be 0.5. Alright, let's see what that does. Okay, now we got 0.2 here. I don't really want anything that high. Like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 is okay. So here we still have... It's going to go here, but then it gets pushed back out if it gets too far in. So it should just bounce its way up, I guess. We'll see. And with its momentum already moving upwards, hopefully that's okay. Let's just look for any really um, large gravity fields in here. 0.2. How did stuff... Okay, you kind of got stuck, but we can push you off, hopefully. Push. Here you go. Good. Smashy, smashy. And you're stuck on the windowsill. Well, that's just fantastic. Anything else? Looks like that other stuff did get out, except right there. So the stuff in here might cause problems if we ever convert back to a ship. What I'll probably do at some point is just wipe the items. All floating objects out of the world, even the ones that are stuck in places. And there's stuff stuck out here. Okay, so that's because of that other gravity that's coming lower. So I'll have to play around with that. See if I can solve that dilemma. But that's a dilemma for another day. Let's go ahead and fire up Shredder one last time before we say goodbye. I will just turn that on, turn that on. And I won't let the Shredder run without supervision. So that we don't lose everything. And the sensors might have already been in the field. One trick for sensors that I found is if you turn them on when they're already in the field, um, they won't trigger if there's like a large ship or station. But if you toggle it off and on again, that will cause it to trigger. So from what I can tell. Um, I think we also got some better action groups. So you can actually um, set up a... Uh, you can set up a sensor now. Do I not have? No. Let's see if I can find a timer. Should have more than... We should have a lot, basically. Oh yeah, I hit a bunch of them. So yeah, if you put a sensor in, you can now... They added in some action groups. So you can actually set, like, detect large ship on, large ship off. You can discreetly turn it on or off, where before we just had the on-off toggles. So what that means is instead of like powering on and off the sensors, you could actually just toggle on and off whatever you're detecting instead. And um, yeah, it might, because in Molar I have basically a bunch of extra sensors or extra timer blocks just so I can like toggle off asteroid detection and then toggle it back on. But I'm never quite sure what state it's in. So I could instead use detect asteroid on and off wherever I was um, turning those sensors on and off. And or I could turn them off with the sensors, etc. But anyway, random stuff that's probably not beneficial. So grinders are on. It doesn't feel like we're moving though, does it? Oh, the sensors are off. What is group four, and why isn't it turning on? Oh, that's shut down. Ha ha! I thought that was like the turn on thing. Apparently not. So now i got to get outside, or now I should be able to do the sensor thing and just toggle this stuff on-off. We should be good. All right, Shredder. Back to work. And it's broken. Shredder, you failed. You are a failure. And you're stuck. Good job.